Welcome to our Wilderness Vans installation tutorial. Today we'll show you how to install a broad arrow window into your van. This window is a great inclusion in any build and features a tinted acrylic window along with an included bug screen and window blind built into the window's frame. Before we begin though, we need to highlight a few things about this install. While installing this window, please note that you should be competent with power tools and basic craftsman work before tackling this assembly. In this tutorial, we will be cutting into the wall of the van, so it is important you are confident in your abilities before moving forward. With all that out of the way, let's get started. To start, get your window and give it an inspection. Check the profile of the window for any deformities or cracks. Do the same for the window frame and ensure the blinds and bug screen pull down smoothly. Lastly, Double check the template and mounting ring in your kit. Make sure they match up with your window. At this point, we also suggest making a wooden or cardboard cutout of your template, so it's easier to use during the install. Now let's move on to the install, starting with getting the window area marked. From the inside of your van, grab your window template and place it roughly where you want your window to sit. Try to avoid any obstructions present on the wall of the van so there's less to cut through later, and be mindful of any cabinetry that'll be in your build. Once in place, drill a hole through your van using the center of the template as a guide. We will use this hole to help mark the position of our template on the outside of the van, where we'll be going next. Once on the outside of the van, find the body line of your vehicle seen here. Apply some painter's tape below it. You will need to make some marks along this strip of tape to define the top of your window. In this video, we are working on a Ford Transit. When working on Ford Transits, we like to place our marks roughly 77 millimeters down from the body line. Besides defining the top of your window, these marks will also help us make sure the window is level with the profile of the vehicle. Now grab your template and using the hole you drilled earlier as reference for the center of your window, line up the top edge of your template with the marks you made on the tape. Once in place, re-drill the center hole. This will be the final center location of your window. With the hole drilled, slide your drill bit through the template and into the hole, keeping the template in place. Now, using a pencil or marker, trace the outline of your template onto the vehicle. With the rough shape traced, remove the template from the van and grab some painter's tape. Apply three layers of tape over the outline you made. This tape will serve as protection for the rest of the vehicle when we start cutting. With the tape in position, measure down from the body line once again, and redefine the top of your window. Then, realign your template using the same steps as before, and retrace your outline onto the tape. Your window position is now finalized. Now we can start cutting into the van using a jigsaw. Drill a pilot hole into one of the corners of your outline. Then use your jigsaw to cut out the marked area you traced. While cutting out this hole, we suggest you have someone inside to hold that section of the van steady, so the metal doesn't buck and warp. As well, make sure to cut the top section of the outline last. We found this prevents the metal on the van from wrinkling. With the hole cut, peel off the tape and test fit your window. Once you have the window in the hole, tape it in place. 
Now head inside the van so we can survey the window's fitment. Once inside, we'll be making marks on the inside of the van to prepare the window for its final installation. First, we need to see if there are any stiffeners that intersect with the window. If there are any, measure 35 millimeters away from the window and make a mark on these extrusions like we did in this footage. We will use these marks as a guide to cut these areas off later, so we can make space for our mounting ring and window frame. Second, we need to make sure that there is a small gap around the perimeter of the window. The window shouldn't be too tight against the body. If it is, it could cause warping in the body of the van. Also, we need some room to maneuver the window during installation. So we want about a 2mm gap around the window, like the one shown here. Look around your window and mark any areas where it sits too tightly. Remember, we are aiming for an equal gap all around the window. With these marks made, we can remove the window and get ready to start cutting. Starting with the stiffeners, grab a slim piece of sheet metal and use it to pry the stiffeners off of the body of the van. If you don't have any sheet metal available, cut a bit from the section of van you just removed. Once the stiffener is loosened, place the sheet metal behind it and tape it into position. Then cut away the stiffener along the mark you made. Be careful not to cut into the body of the van. The sheet metal will prop up the stiffener and act as a small barrier, but you still need to be cautious. Repeat this step for each extrusion and stiffener that you mark. Next, grab a small die grinder and level out the areas that you marked along the edges of the window. Remember, we are trying to create an even gap of about 2 millimeters around the perimeter of the window, so we want to knock back any uneven sections that stick out. A close-up example of how to grind these areas can be seen here. Once you've got the area grinded down, use a deburr to clean the jagged edges along the hole. If you do not have a deburr tool, you can use another tool of your choice. Now you can reposition the window for a second test fit. See how it feels from the outside. You want it to slide in cleanly, but still have a little bit of play. then return inside to make sure the perimeter around the window is even. If it looks or feels off, make some more marks around the areas that still need to be grinded down and repeat that process. In our case, the window is still a little tight in the top left corner. So we ground it down to match the rest of the perimeter. Keep test fitting the window until it fits properly. Once you're confident of your windows fit, you can move on. Now we can secure the window. Begin by applying some anti-rust paint along the inside edge of the hole you made. With anti-rust paint applied, take some polyurethane and apply it along the outside of the window hole. Our preferred polyurethane is Sika 221. An example of how to apply this can be seen here. Now take your window and slot it into place. As you position the window, 
Double check that it is still parallel with the body line. With the window roughly in place, let's head inside. Once inside, apply some polyurethane to the metal along the edge of your window. When applying the polyurethane, end in the next few steps. Make sure someone is holding the window from the outside, keeping it flush with the vehicle. Once the perimeter of the window is outlined, take your mounting ring and apply polyurethane to the side of the mounting ring with a flat face. Then place it over top of your window and give it a good push to stick it on. With the mounting ring in position, secure the bottom of the window to it using one of the Robertson screws and mounting clips included in your kit. Note that there are holes along the edge of your window for you to install the screw into. And an example of how the mounting clip should sit against the mounting ring can be seen here. Repeat this step to secure the rest of the holes along the edge of the window. When you're finished, your window should look something like this. We're almost done. Now you just need to grab your window frame and pop it into place over top of your window. While sliding the frame on, Make sure the bug screen on your frame goes along the top of the window. Once in position, secure it in place by installing a long Robertson screw into each corner of the frame. Then cover all this hardware up using the corner pieces included in your kit. Congratulations, your broad arrow window is installed. Take a second to check that the window opens and closes easily. And also do the same for the bug screen and blind on the frame. Then take a quick walk around the outside of your window to make sure there are no gaps along the edges. Once all that is checked, you're all done. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe. Check out the rest of our channel and website for additional tips, tricks, and installation guides. Thanks for choosing Wilderness Vans.